So basically, a character set is a set of valid characters acceptable by programming language. Means overall, Python can provide AXA and Unicode characters, all the AXA and Unicode characters. Okay, like from A to Z and uh, zero to nine, and all the like special characters Python can allow, and Python can uh, allow white spaces also. Okay, this is the character set of the Python, which which includes AXA code encoding. Unicode characters A to Z, small letters and uh, capital letter, and then zero to nine, and then all the brackets, all the special characters and white spaces. Okay, now token. Token is uh, it is a smallest individual unit in Python program. Okay, all statements and instructions in program are built with to tokens. So basically, all the all everything is Python is token. Like uh, whether we are making a variable, so. Like name is equal to Python. Whether we are making a variable or we are making a function, these all are the tokens. So okay. uh, name is the variable, isn't it? Yeah, name is a variable, but it comes under uh, under category of the token. Okay. Okay. This name, uh, these all mean all the things are in Python are tokens, and tokens are the smallest unit in Python program. All statements and instructions in a program are built with tokens. The various okay. tokens. So, token are... means uh, variable and then uh, equal to whatever you write down, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, token means everything in Python, like whether okay. you are using a specific keyword, a specific function, a specific method, and yep. any type of variable. These all are tokens. Okay. Now, in inside token, we have keywords. Keywords are the special words. Okay, they are the special words or we can say reserved words for the Python programming. For example, as we, in the class, we have reserved roll number, like my roll number is 13. Okay, then this is reserved for me. And, uh, and same as with the Python, there, there are like reserved words. Like uh, we can if else for while in str these are the reserved words and many more we you cannot use these as a variable okay like uh, you cannot name y is equal to python no, we cannot use that uh, yeah we variable. cannot use as a variable these are the reserved words uh, for python these uh, these have a special meaning for uh, for python Okay, these are the some are functions, some are methods, and some are like uh, identifiers. But these are not, uh, uh, we cannot name it, uh, this add up as a variable. These are the reserve to, for Python. That we have true, false, none, and as, a set, def, class, continue, break, and then else, finally, elif, del, except. It's around 33 keywords, which we cannot use as a variable. They, they are used for a special purpose in the Python. Then second, we have, they are known as keywords. Second, we have identifiers. Identifiers are the names given to variables or functions or classes or list methods, etc. Which are user defined. Okay, for their identification. Python is so case you, you mentioned that uh, 33 keywords under the token, we cannot use that. Yeah, as a variable, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Like true for no. identifiers are the identifiers are the name given to a certain variable. Let's say a is equal to one, b is equal to two. These these are called variable, but these are also called identifiers. Whether you are defining a name to uh, to a variable, a, a name to a function, a class, these are known as identifiers. Okay, identifiers is used to identify a certain type of value. Okay. So identifiers are just a name given to given by the user itself. Okay, and any name, but you have to follow the rules. And Python is case sensitive language. It has some rules and regulations to name and ident identifier. Okay, the rules are as stated are Python is case sensitive, so case matters. Okay, this apple and this apple both are different Python. Then identifiers start with a capital letter. A to Z and a small letter or a underscore. It cannot start with other character like number and etc. Okay. Except for letters and underscore digits can also be part of identifier but cannot be a first letter of it. Okay. As we had discussed yesterday, like we cannot name. Yep. 
थ्री नम वी कैन नॉट डू दिस बट वी कैन नम थ्री वी कैन डू दिस ओके एनी अदर स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स और वाइड स्पेसिस आर स्ट्रिक्टली टू बिहेव इन एन आइडेंटिफायर ओके सो स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स एंड वाइड स्पेसिस लाइक स्पेसिस आर नॉट अलाउड एन आइडेंटिफायर कैन बी अ की वर्ड वी कैन नॉट डू नेम आर आइडेंटिफायर एज अ की वर्ड लाइक दिस की वर्ड ओके एंड देन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम वैलिड आइडेंटिफायर्स आर दीज आर वैलिड आइडेंटिफायर्स ओके दीज वन वाई इनवेलिड आर थर्टी नाइनटी वन रोड हैश आई एम दीज आर इनवेलिड आइडेंटिफायर ओके Now, then we have literals of values. Values are the fixed values of the or data uh, items used in a source code. Python supports different type of literals. Literals are like a value which you assign to a variable or which you provide in a function or in any conditional statements. So we have different types of literals. First, we have string literals. String literals are like just string only, but we have named it. Another. So the test written in single quotation, double quotation, and triple quotations represent the string. For example, computer science, same. These are string. Okay. Then characters literals, where which will is also a string literal type in which the character is enclosed, like a single character. Let's say this one, a. Okay. So character literals. We only use string literals in Python. Character literals are like. A, Not used that much in Python. Then we have numeric literals. They are like numbers. We are uh, where we store numbers like a is equal to one. Now numeric literals are divided into three part: integer, float, and complex. Integer means like positive number and negative number, which do not include any decimal point. Like we have one. Three two two ten six five five ah six five seven. These are the integer. Okay, and float is like where we use floating point system, like four point three point five. Okay, five point six six and zero point one. These are the floating point number, floating literals and integer. Integer cannot to like it didn't include the decimal part. Okay, so and so floor is that, like it includes a decimal in, part. Integer means there is no fraction. Yeah, no fraction, fraction part. Then we have complex. Complex is like combination of a real number and the imaginary number, like a plus b i. This is a complex number. Or we can say that a plus five i. This a it is a real number and i it is a imaginary number. So we really use complex in the in the like Python. Mostly we use integer and float. Then we have boolean values. Boolean values only includes two value, true and false. Okay. To, uh, and make sure that T should be capital and F should be capital while using the boolean value because this is the right syntax of using boolean value, true and false. This boolean means Either zero or one, true and false. Then we have the special literals like none. None is like nothing in the Python. Okay, which like replace the absence of value, like which helps to like if you don't have don't have any type of value, then you can put a is equal to or in a function mainly you can put none. None like none is used when you when you don't want to pass anything in the function or in 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 a condition statement, then we have literal collections. Collections, ah, uh, it is uh, like uh, apart from a string, we have list, tuple, dictionary, and set. Now list in in like uh, ah in a string a is equal to we assign the name. It's a Python, but we cannot assign like this, like. Uh, So basically, we cannot assign the multiple values to a single variable like this. So we have to use the list in case of if you want to assign the multiple values to a single variable. So in in case of that, you 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 use list like v is equal to square brackets, and then the name of your whatever you want to put like Python, and separated by comma. Then we have. 
right? You cannot assign the multiple values along with only a single variable. You can do this like this, like B. Now A represents Python and B represents language. You can do this, but if you want to store up multiple values to a uh, like to a single variable, then you can you have to make a list. Okay, so it has to be in the bracket, isn't it? Sorry. So if you put the uh, like B equal to you put Python, Apple, Mango. Yeah. So if you put in the bracket, you can um, apply. Yeah. Okay. And this and this is known as list. Now the benefit of list is you can store any type of data type. Like you can store number, you can store boolean value, you can store float value. Like at a at all go at a one one time. And in like when you are assigning the string, then you cannot assign the number with this. Like one okay. one forty three and uh, okay. two point two. You cannot do this. Okay, so you can assign many uh, multiple values with the with different data types at one go in, uh, in with the help of list. So which one you say list as a Python, Apple, Mango? Uh, one, this is a two, list. Three. List is oh, a... Okay. Yeah, uh, basically this is a list. List is... Okay. So list is a, uh, is a collection of multiple data types that are enclosed within square brackets with commas in oh, okay. between. Okay. okay. Okay, These fine. variables can be of data, any data type and can be changed as well. Okay, then we have tuple. Tuples are the, they are also like list, but there is a difference between tuple and list. Let's say C is equal to in. See, in Python, we have two terms mutable and immutable. Mutable means changeable. We can change the value. Okay. Okay. So in mutable, we can change the values. Like if you want to replace Python with the uh, grapes, so you can replace the value in the list. But if you want to replace this value in the tuple, you cannot replace it. So we can say that list is a mutable data type and tuple is immutable. We cannot change the item of the tuple. It's okay. it's its nature. Okay, so we cannot replace Python with any of the value, any other value. And the list, we can change any item. We can like perform many functions and methods. We uh, we will see that in list manipulation. So list is immutable. We can change the its so item. Mutable is change. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and in tuple, we cannot change it. Item. Uh, okay. Now these items are fixed in tuple. And tuple mm -hmm. we enclose within parentheses, round brackets, with the help of round brackets. These are square brackets and this is round brackets. This is the main difference between the list and tuple. tuple then okay. another data type we have dictionary. You say you can change in uh, in the list mutable, like yeah. instead of Python, what I can write down. You I can, can write anything. Any okay. You can write like you can write number. You can assign. Boolean value like any data type. Uh, okay, but uh, uh, tuple, I cannot change anything. Yeah, you cannot I change it. Okay. Okay. Then we have dictionary. Dictionaries are enclosed in curly braces. Okay, they are the they are called key value pair. Key value means first we have the first we have the key. Let's say our key name is name, colon, and then your value. Let's say Python. Then again comma. Let's say So basically, this name is a key, and Python is a value of this name. That is uh, that is why dictionary is known as key value pair. This is one key. This is second key, and it is separated by comma. This is name. This is a key, and Python is a value. Last is a key, and language is a value. And the, uh, this is one key, and this is uh, like this is one pair, and this is second pair, and this is a comma separated. You can comma, like. Okay. Come separate. So they are known as key value pair, and they are enclosed during uh, this, uh, curly braces. Okay.
Now we then we have set. Set is also a type of data type. Yeah. So basically, we are at at a whole we have a string, then we have integer. In integer, we have numeric. Uh, in in so in numeric, we have integer, float, and complex. Then we have none value. Then we have full list, tuple, dictionary, and set. Set is also a string literal uh, like uh, we, we, uh, we can make it by with the help of curly braces but it is same like a tuple so we can store multiple data types but we have to enclose it in curly braces now list is also sorry set is also immutable we cannot change its item okay but dictionaries yeah they are mutable we can change its item Like if you want to change the name of this, uh, the value of this key name, then you can change it with the help of uh, like various functions. But in tuple, you cannot change in tuple and set. You cannot change the elements inside this list. Elements are like Python. It is an element. Apple is an element. Mango is an element. So these these are the elements of the tuple, and these are the elements Python, Apple, Mango. These are the elements of the set. You cannot change the elements of Tuple and the uh, and set. That is why they are immutable in nature. So and you say uh, I cannot change. What does it mean? I... Means you cannot change these value. Like you cannot replace Python with any other name. You cannot replace oh. with Apple with any other thing like any number, any string, or anything. But in this too, and in in like dictionary, you can change it. You can change Python and you, and can name it anything you want, and you can say well with, with this uh, okay. dictionary. So these so which are two the, I can change it. And uh, tuple I can change it, isn't it? Yeah, only tuple and set you cannot change it. Uh, and uh, list you can change it, and the dictionary you can change it. Okay, this is dictionary. A tuple I cannot change it. Okay. Yeah, you cannot change tuple and set. Okay. Then after that we have operation operators. One is operator and second is operand. Operand and then operators. Suppose we have did a plus b. Now this a and b are operand and plus is an operator. Okay. Okay. Here plus is an operator and a and b means the values. The values are operands, and the and this plus sign it is an operator. So we have multiple operators in Python, like we have arithmetic operators which includes plus, minus, multiplication, division. This is float division. This is integer division. Then modulus, uh, sorry, modulus and exponent. We will see. Then assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators. And identity, membership, and advice uh, operators. We have different different types of operators. Then after that, we have variables as they are they are the containers for storing data values. Five is assigned to x, so x is a container which is carrying the five value five. Say John, John is a like value which is assigned by the y. And then we are printing x and y. Now variable do not need to be declared with any particular type. Okay, like we cannot, we this is a, like the benefit of Python, like this advantages of Python that when we are assigning a value, let's say name is equal to Python. Now Python is a string, so before the name str, we can we don't need to define what kind of value we are storing the in this variable. This is a benefit of this is uh, like uh, how Python is dynamic in nature. We cannot. We don't need to declare what type of value we are storing inside this variable. Okay, we just make a variable and then store our value. Okay, is it clear? Yep. Okay. Now casting. Ah, uh, we will discuss that later. It is like changing our data type from one type to another. First, we will discuss what is in data type. 
Okay, then variables name. Uh, these are the rules of the name the variable that we are dis uh, discussed. A variable can have a short name like x and y or a more descriptive name like age. If you are storing the someone's age, then you can put age. If you are storing someone's first name, then you can name your variable first underscore name. A variable name must start with the letter or the underscore character. A variable cannot start with the number. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters, not to any special characters. Variable names are case sensitive. Okay. Now, there is a there are rule or there are like format of writing a variable. We have three types of writing: chemical case writing, Pascal case, and snake case. If you are naming a variable, let's say first name, then you can do this right first and name. Like you can put this n like every uh, like for second word should uh, can be capital. So you can also name this name your variable like this. Then we have Pascal case where we can install like this if we are first in the name, and then you can also use snake case writing like. Uh, First and disconnect. Okay. Yeah. So these are the three cases you can use. Mostly we use snake case writing. Snake case writing is uh, like uh, a far com so far like comfortable. So we and it is easily understood by everyone. Okay. Then many values to my, uh, like uh, yeah. We have x, y, z, and we are assigning the variable like this. Orange will uh, store the uh, x will store orange value, y banana, and z cherry. So we can also assign these variables like okay, let me show. Like x, x comma y comma z is equal to first apple for the x, then orange for the y, and then cherry for the z. See this file. Okay, x denote y denote orange and z for check. Now let's print it. X print y and then print so you cannot do uh, print x y z together. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Like x comma y comma z like that. Save the file and then open your terminal. Type. Um, this is my file. Let's move to desktop first. Open my file in here. Then Python. And then name of the file. File.py. Apple or in the cherry. Now, if you you are if you are taking the three value, variables and you are providing only only two values, let's remove it. Then it will throw an error. Python will throw error. Save it. Show you. See, X Y Z apple orange value error. Not enough values to unpack because we are given the three in uh, three variables, but we are assigning you two values. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this will throw an error. So you have to make sure that uh. Your value, your variables are will be equal to your values. So if you delete the z, it should work. Yeah, if I delete z, it will work. Oh, you have to remove it from here. Apple and orange. Okay. okay. This is how you can assign the multiple values to multiple values. You can also assign like this: x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to orange. So x, y, z will contain this orange value. Okay, let me show you. Like uh, you can assign like x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to that value. 
point. Let's print. It's comma y comma z. Save it. And then again, print it. Orange, orange, orange. Because these three values contain this orange value. Because of this equal to sign. Means yeah. z is equal to orange. Now y is equal to z. And, and x is, is equal to y. So orange is assigned to these three values. Now, how to unpack a collection? This is, we will do it later. Now, most important user input. Suppose, suppose you are adding one, two numbers. A is equal to five and B is equal to five. Let's print A plus B. Okay. And then enter. 10. Okay. Now, if you want to, like, if you want to, here you are assigning the values statically. Okay. These are the static values. Now, if you want a dynamic value, dynamic value in the sense, if you want the value entered by the user only. Means if you are using the calculator, you are typing the values by yourself. Okay, so if you want this this thing, so you have to take a input from the user. Okay, input from the user. Let me show you first. Let's take number. Let's say number one is equal to input. Here you have to write please. Uh, and the first number. Then num2 is equal to input. Enter second number. Then print num1 plus num2. And then save. So run it. And the first number. Now this program is asking from the user what type of number or uh, what number you want to put in. So let's say six. And the second number six. Now it is giving six sixty six, not six plus six twelve. Basically, it is giving six six is uh, six plus six is equal to sixty six, not six plus six is equal to twelve. Oh, Why okay. so? Like so why? why? Yeah, because this input it is taking the number as a string means for us or this is six a plus multiplication six. or the... no as a string. See string. for us okay. this is six six plus six twelve. But for the Python it is six and then plus six, six. is equal to six, sixty six. So basically six. Python is adding the two string not two numbers. That's why it is okay, printing please. this. Now, now we have to convert this string into number. Then you have to put int before that. Int brackets from here and then int here before input. Int and again in here. So now this input we take the uh, Now this input will take your value as a string and int will convert your string into number. Okay, let's print it. And the first number, let's say 5. Second, 5. 5 plus 5, 10. Okay. okay. This is how you can convert your... Always remember this input will take your input in the form of string, not in the form of number or any other character. Now it's your responsibility to convert this input into a number. If you want to, like any calculations, if you are taking someone's name, let's say, let's print first underscore name is equal to input. Enter your name. And then last name is equal to input. Enter second, enter last step.
now this in, inside input we are using the string so that it can be printed as it is like you, i print enter your end the first number so end the first number here then end the second number so you can like write anything you want if you want to ask from the user like, like if you are making a form then you can write write your address enter your address you can like uh, like write it according to yourself but to make sure this is a string you can write it in a capital letter you can like use the special character inside strings okay then let's to print so after print you have to write first name comma last name or you can use plus first name plus last name comment it out and then write enter your first name let's say Okay, enter your first name. Let's say Bhavan. Your last name is Jen. So Bhavan Jen. Okay. Now in here you don't need any number, so you are you are only typing in, uh, input. But if you want to, to do any calculations, then you are using int before input. Okay, int input and the first number. If you want to to do any calculations, is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Um. You can try this input. Okay, try this. Okay. okay.
Yeah, I, I'm not, when I run that, it doesn't yeah. work. Okay, share your screen. Have you found it? Can you see that? Yeah. Save your file. Save your file. Okay. No. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, yeah. It's coming up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so is it clear? Yeah, it's okay. I didn't say what uh, that's it didn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now you can stop sharing. Now, basically, we have arithmetic operators. Let us see. Okay, before that, let me tell you about comments. See, in Python, we have comments. Comments uh, are like the characters or words that are ignored by your uh, your python let's say if you are writing ping hello word okay if you are writing print hello world and if you want to to write about print means uh, what is the function of the print then you can write print is a function that is used to print something Okay, let me show you this. See, and let me run it. See, it is giving me an error. Print is a function that is used to print something. Print hello world. I have typed this correctly. But this print is a function. I am using this membership operator. I am using this function name. So this is this is not a right uh, like right uh, like syntax to write something. If you want to add a node, if you want to write like write if you want to write something about this function, anything. If you want to add additionally, then you can use it with the help of comments. Comments. Comments can be made with the help of hash function like we have hash then you can put anything anything you want to write okay ha this uh, comment uh, is used when you want to write anything that uh, and this command will be ignored by the browser sorry um, ignored by the python interpreter and you print this print it again save your file and then again okay. now it will print successfully hello world now this like this is ignored by your python interpreter so that is why we write comments this is all the these are all comments if you want to like if you want to add some kind of note if you want to to, uh, to write something additionally to make someone understand about your code so you can use print this command functions uh you can okay. use hash okay so basically uh, comment is uh, like after the hash i can write down anything in yeah anything after that hash and there's a shortcut for the like for the vs code to comment into uncomment for that, you can select your test okay. and then control plus forward slash. This is 
अनकमेंट ओके एंड देन सेलेक्टेड कंट्रोल प्लस फॉरवर्ड स्लैश अगेन कमेंट अनकमेंट कमेंट अनकमेंट ओके दिस वन कंट्रोल प्लस फॉरवर्ड स्लैश ओके व्हेन यू वांट टू सेलेक्ट दिस टेस्ट इट कंट्रोल स्लैश दिस इज लाइक दिस बिकम अ दिस बिकम्स अ कमेंट एंड इफ यू वांट टू अनकमेंट इट देन अगेन कंट्रोल प्लस फॉरवर्ड स्लैश दिस इज नाउ अनकमेंटेड नाउ आई वांट टू कमेंट दिस एंड दिस हेलो वर्ल्ड ओके देन कंट्रोल प्लस फॉरवर्ड स्लैश इदर यू कैन डू दिस और यू कैन पुट अ कोटेशन इन हियर ओके बोथ आर सी सॉरी अ द हैश इन हियर सो दिस इज दिस two lines this all these lines are ignored by your python interpreter so if you run this file now we don't have anything in the file except comments and comments are ignored by your uh, by your python interpreter so if you run this file you will uh, see no output in here because these are the comments and you can write anything any note any like a specific command like if you want to learn if you want to like make the notes in between the course then you can use comments Like if you are if you are using let's say name is equal to input enter your name okay now you want to write what is this input is about then we have then my input is a function which is used to create used to take input. Which is used to take input. So these all lines are comments, and which is ignored by your Python interpreter. Then you can print your name as it is, and then save your file, and then run it again. Enter your name. Let's say Python, and then Python. Okay. So these are the comments are very useful in Python. Whether you want to test some code, whether you want to comment, whether you want to write something else, so you can use this. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Now we have automatic operators. Let me comment it, and then we have. So automatic operators in which we have minus, oh, sorry, addition, subtraction. then we have multiplication and then float division integer division modulus and then exponent let okay. me comment it now addition is used for add subtraction minus and multiplication multiplication and division this is float division float and this is integer means In flow, let's take an example. Okay. And modulus, it will give you an remainder. Remainder. And this exponent, this is known as exponent. Means power. Okay. Means we can say that power of. Let me show you the example. Let's take two variables. A is equal to ten, and B is equal to twenty. Okay, then print A plus B. Again print A minus B. Then print A multiplication B. Then print A division B. Then print A integer division and B. And then and say print a exponent so in modulus b. Then again print a exponent b. So a is a a is a variable which is contained ten value and two is assigned b. A plus b 
we have the output 30. Okay. For this, we have minus 10. Okay. Let me print it. Yeah. See, 30 and then minus 10. A into okay. B, 200. Now, A, this is a float division. It will give you the pointer, floating pointer. So, means the output for A is 0.5. Okay. okay. Now, but this this is an integer division, and integer division uh, cuts the fractional part. So we have zero only. It cuts the 0 0.5 part because it is an integer division. So mostly yes. we use float division. Then we have the modulus. Modulus will gives you a remainder. For example, let's say we divide eight divided by modulus three. Okay. So three two just six. So the quotient will be. Two, okay, three two ja, and uh, uh, eight minus six two. So so the remainder will remain is equal to two. So the output will be two. Okay, means uh, only means the this uh, modulus will only only give will only returns the remainder part, not the quotient part. Okay, let's say we have divided five divided modulus two. So two to the four, and it will remain one. Then it will return the one remainder part, not the quotient part. Okay, this is the like the feature of nature of the modulus. Now we have divided ten modulus twenty. So twenty is bigger than ten. So the remainder will be ten only. Okay, so here is you have answer ten. So the module modulus will return the remainder part. Then we have the exponent. Exponent is power of. Let's say we have divided 10 exponent 20. So it means 10 into 10 into 10, like 10 times 20. Okay. Into okay. Okay, etc. Like uh, we are uh, 10 power of 20. 10 times 20 is equal to this one. This value. Okay. This is how these arithmetic operators work. Is it clear? Yep. Okay. Modulus is clear or not? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. You can try this now. Take okay. two values and then perform these arithmetic operators. So you put a equal ten, but b space and then equal it. Why is far away? Yeah, and there's no like space. Are, if you spaces are not like not valuable in here, you can okay. either put space or not. It's your choice. It, it doesn't will not matter. affect your. It will not affect your code. Okay.
Uh, when I run this, it doesn't come up. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I'll just share the screen. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. So in here. You type your name. See, it is asking uh, your name. Enter your name in here. So you have to complete this. Then you can have it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now there's a question for you. You have to take two input from the user. Okay. And perform uh, these eight operator uh, operating arithmetic operations on 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 that means you have to take two input from the user convert into integer value and you perform these eight operations again in the new file okay. did you get the question mm, no i'm saying like make a new file okay in the vs uh, make it a new file okay yeah so in here I have to create the file or? Yeah, this option, plus plus. Oh. No, uh, there's a name of file, Python, 001. Oh, yeah. okay. do, you, do you have four options? Okay. No, uh, at the top, there only, pyt.py, there's a file. Yeah, there's a, no, another name, like at the side, left side. Uh, yep. There's a options, uh, four options beside that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one? New yeah. file? Yes. Name it. No, you cannot put 001 in the extension. You cannot okay. put yeah, on dot .py. Before that, you can do uh, put anything. Uh, NV. No, only you can only put dot .py as an extension. .py okay. and then yeah. put uh, something. No, no, you cannot put anything after the dot .py. You are or you are, only can put dot .py at the last. But you okay. can name anything you in here. Uh, okay. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Eric, okay. Yeah, before dot. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now take two input from the user. Take two input from the user, like you make two variables and that is equal to int input enter your name or enter okay. the number like that. Here you are applying the eight eight individual value to A and B. I'm asking to take it from the user. Like okay. do, you don't need to put the value eight eight. Just ask from the user to put it. So in that uh -huh. case, you have to use input function. Yeah, that we have seen previously. Uh, input. Int input. Yeah. Uh, then no no space brackets here. Then uh, value is in it. No, I break parenthesis. Don't use space, don't use space. Yeah, parenthesis. Okay. Round brackets again. Yeah, yeah, I'll put the round bracket. No, after input, after T. Yeah, uh, after T, okay. Uh, after T, this one? No, before C. You can you you can see the previous file, this pyt or people you can refer from here. See how we write input, input then brackets. Okay. Uh, Line yeah, number twelve. Yeah. Here. Input. Okay. Put 
put friendly parenthesis. Help. Parenthesis. No, put round brackets. How long in here? Yeah, again. You have to put after input, after T. Uh, after T, okay. After T in here. Input. Oh, yeah, got it. Colon. So, in here, I uh, have to write down something? Yeah, between your quotations. Yeah, enter the first number, you can write it. Okay. Wait. No, you have to write enter the first number because you are asking uh, from the user. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It. Enter the first number. Is the way? Yeah, close your bracket. Close your there are two brackets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, do this for the B value. B value. Same. So I can, Enter I can the copy. second number. Yeah. So I can copy and paste in here. Yeah, you can copy it. And then just replace the first with second. How do you copy that? Just right click. Okay. But in here, I uh, can change last number. Second number or last number. Or second, number second number. Okay, yep. then, then perform those eight arithmetic operations in here. Like A plus V, then A minus V, then A into V, then A okay. division like it. Yeah, save it and run it. Uh, yeah. No, you have to write Python, then name of your file. Put okay. Python to put it. Okay. Yeah, dot py. Okay. No, Python space at the name of the file dot py. Oh, okay. Space that the name of this file python 001.py. Okay. Yeah, enter the first number. Yep. Yeah, any number. Then second number. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now yep. run this program again. Yeah, run this again. In here? No, just write Python again uh, in in the terminal, in the terminal, yeah. and enter here. Enter. Now give another number. Yeah. So in here you can like give any number, and these all the operation can be performed easily. Okay. okay. Here you are giving the number dynamically. 
Previously, you are assigning the number statically. So this is how you can take the input from the user, and the user can like uh, calculate from white's choice whether he or she want to calculate with the numbers at ten plus ten, twenty plus twenty, or ten and twenty anything. So this is the hmm. like benefit of the input where you are like taking the input from the user from the user end. Because after hmm. learning Python, you are making the you are used to make the program for the developers for the for the user only. Like yeah. if you if like if you are making any form, then there you will ask the user about the first name, the last name, the age, etc. So it's all about the users. We are making we are using this Python. We are learning it because of the because of our end user. Okay, so that's yeah. why yeah. we are using the input. Okay. Now mm -hmm. there's another question. You have to take two input, the first name and the last name from the user and print it. Okay. Take two inputs from the user and the input will be of first name and then last name and then print it. Mm -hmm. So have to create another file or? No, you can do this in this file also. Oh, in like here. This. You can comment <laughs> this. The whole eight lines. Comment out. Or after that, comment. Uh, you have to select all, press Control A, control, yeah, select all, then Control plus forward slash. Control forward slash. Control in forward slash. Oh, control H forward slash. No, only Control and forward slash. Press control forward slash. Yeah. yeah. Now it is comment. Okay. So that thing is. Uh, you have to uh, take two input from the user. Yeah. Okay. First name and last name. Have to run that again or no 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 need to run it just write your code so uh, uh, why you put the uh, hash what the reason because if you because currently we want it not to run the program like one to eight lines we print again these all the calculations and all so currently I want like apart from making the new file you can write a okay, code in here okay, okay. Yeah. because if I if I type anything it will run uh, old one as well no it will not run this eight lines because now okay. these lines yeah, are comments that's reason you block that with the half uh, yeah hash yes. Okay. Now, first name is equal to so in here after that. Why are you taking the int in here? What is the use of taking the int in here? Like int is used to convert your string into number. And currently, we are making a program which will take a string as a input. And we need the string. So why we will convert that string into number? Mm -hmm. So we don't need to put int every time we are using the input. We only use int in case if you want if we want to like some kind of calculations. Otherwise, uh, we will only use input. Oh. Simply input. Okay. So if it is calculation, then int. Uh, then int. If you are taking any number, if you need any number. Okay. 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 Got it. No, we, you don't need to use that uh, parenthesis. You, yeah. No. Uh, remove screen. this. Remove this. These parentheses. First, you have to write input and then parenthesis. Then it's round brackets. No, outside in outside this round brackets, you you have to type input. Yeah, like this. 
Let's think. In here, no space. Yeah, no space. Okay. So is there anything? Uh, and then print. Uh, print. Oh. Print. Um, First name uh, A comma B. A comma, comma B. 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 Okay. Yeah, save your code and run it. So in here, I, I can put colon or something. Because I put the colon this way. In here, I can space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, comment so this out. Yeah, I got a question. In here, can yeah. I make it space? Like, uh, like in here? Yeah, you can. You can easily. So if I make it space in here. Yes. Yep, yep. Yep, that's better. Okay. Now comment this out, these three lines. Comment this. What? Comment. comment. These three lines. A B and print A plus B. A common B. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, comment it out. Comment mm -hmm. out, yeah. Oh, uh, come out. Yeah, means oh, uh, yeah. Comment this out so that you oh, can write another code. Okay, yeah, the same way. Yeah. Now Please, you have to take so two input the from com Comment this, isn't it? Sorry? What it says? You mentioned something to close this one. They say command, command this code. For forward slash. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. Now you have to take two inputs from the user and perform modulus operation. Modulus. Okay. Take two inputs from the user again. From uh, modulus. Okay, what's the modulus? Forget that. Uh, what input I have to take? You have to first convert into the number because we have performed the modulus operation. What is the modulus operation? It will give you the remainder part. Okay, mm -hmm. so convert this input into int. So type int before input. Okay. So what input I have to put in? Enter the first number. Oh, enter the first number. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. B is equal to enter second number.
Now perform bodyless operation. Means print. Oh yeah, A and B. Yeah, print A. Modulus B. Modulus. No, modulus sign. Percentage. Percentage. Oh, percentage. B. Yeah. There is an error in your code on line number 12 and 13. You are performing Sorry. a calculation. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to convert your in input into int, integer value. Okay. okay. So before input, type int. Uh, int. Where? Before India? input. Before input. Uh, before input. Okay. Yeah. Int. And then, and then bracket. And then bracket. Yeah. And then bracket close at the end. So you can run that now? Yeah, you can run it. Enter first number and enter the second number. Okay. So what's the difference? Uh this one and this one. There's no difference between the line number 1 and 2 and 12 and 13. See, okay. here you are taking the input and convert into integer value. On line number 1 and 2, you are doing the same. But the difference integer, is here, yeah. uh, integer Mo mean. modulus. This is a modulus oh. sign which will re return the remainder part. See, when you divide 10, divide by 20. Okay, divide it. Let's see. One second. You can stop sharing. Okay. Okay, we are dividing, we are doing. We are here, we are doing 10 modulus 20. Okay, so 10 is divided by 20. Now, when you divide it, 20 is greater than 10. So, we, you cannot put 0 in here. So, the remainder will be 0. Sorry, it will be 10 in here because we cannot divide 20 is greater than 10. And we cannot put the fractional part in here. like. Uh, we cannot put zero to, in order to divide it. So, so the real answer is ten. If you do like this, let's say two divided by five. Okay, two ones are two. Here four, yeah. and remainder will be one. Yeah. So this is. So, so basically, if A is uh, like um, uh, 10, if B is 20, yeah, is it possible? Yeah, if you 10 divided by 20. Uh, yeah, I, I put the first number like A equal to 10, B equal to yeah, So 10, 10 to 10, and then, so, yeah. sorry, 10 to 20. Uh, so there is yeah. no remainder at all. So 20 minus 20, then the answer will be 0. Yep. Okay, then it will return 0. Not uh, any yeah. other number, oh, zero. If there is no remainder, then it yeah. will return zero. And if there is a remainder while while division, then it will re uh, return the remainder part, not the quotient part. Okay, like 
Like in, in here, yeah. you're doing the 20, uh, 10 divided by yeah. 20. Now here, 10 it would be zero modulus maybe. 20. So here 10 will come first and then 20 will come here. This is how we divide. No, like 2 divided by 4. Yeah. Yeah. Then this is 2 and then this is 4. Sorry, this two, is yes. here 4. Yeah. And this two. is here 2. This is how we get. Two, if you yeah. reverse the value, then like here. So, so what would be the result? If you divide if you 4, divide, divided, uh, by two, two divided by 4. Is so, zero. 4 is greater than 2. So, we cannot further divide it. So, the remainder will be 2 yeah. only. So, the answer will be 2. Yeah. But if you are if you are dividing 4 and 2, then if you divide into, like if you are replacing the value, two, uh, 4 okay. and here, then 2, 1, 2, 2. Okay, yeah. and then the remainder will be 4. So, the remainder will be 0. Because it is completely two. divisible. And the remainder will be 0. Then it will return 0 in the value. Zero, okay. Okay, let me show you again. Alright, okay. Yeah. See, A uh, is equal to, okay. if let's say, we have uh, 2. Uh, you can do the All division, then it will be 0. Okay. Um, see, 2 modulus 4. Okay, and here, let's print 4 modulus 2. Now, 2 modulus 4, and they, they, they both will, okay, okay. Say it are fine, and under CD this C two and zero because two is divisible by four modulus four, the remainder will be two and four is completely divisible by two then the remainder will be zero. Okay, so modulus will only return the remainder part whether it is zero or non-zero value. Is it clear? Okay. Okay, one second. Let me show you. Alright, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you are doing no, the normal division, it. two divided by four. Okay, then you will take uh, this two value inside here and four value outside. The four is greater than two. So, for so the remainder will be two only because yeah. we cannot divide four and two yeah. together when you, when you are using the modulus part. Okay, but if you are two. using four two. here, yeah. you are using the modulus part two, then yeah, then four is inside. Yeah, two. yeah it should be zero. Two, two, zero, four, and then yeah. four minus four. Yeah. It is zero. Then the answer will be zero. And it should zero be zero. zero. Okay. Zero. No. Zero. Yep. There's a question. You have to take two input from the user. Okay. And perform exponential operation. Yeah. Okay, try it. Yeah. Okay. Exponential operation. What is exponential operation? Thank you. 
exponential operator this one double multiplication means power of 2 exponential to is 2 into 2 like it ah uh, ah uh, that's what i get Okay. Done. So I put um two okay. and four. First number so two and second number four. It is came up sixteen. this one call exponential okay so take two inputs from the user name and age and print it okay
Yeah, I'll, I'll do something, but okay. I can, I'll share the screen and look. Yes. Um, why are you printing the first name, last name, and age? This first name, last name, age is a variable, and you have put the name of the variable is A and B, and you are printing first name. There is no variable named first name. That's why there is an error. Name error. Name okay. first name is not defined. Because there is not and there is no any variable named first name. Either you have to put A and B okay. in the print because you have to call the variable or change A and B with the first name and last name. Oh yes, yes. Okay, I have to change A and B. No, A, A comma B. B because we don't want any addition. We just want print it. Yeah. Save your file. It should work now. Yeah. You have to write enter your first name or enter your name. But it's okay. Age? No, only see. I'm uh, I'm why, why no, I'm asking, asking taking you want you yeah. have to take two input. Name and age, not first name, age, last name. These are three variables. You are taking two variables into one. This is a wrong practice, and this will throw an error. You are saying a input first name comma age means input can take only one value, one input at a time, not two variable. Okay, okay. So correct this input. Type enter your name. Input can uh, take only one value at a time. Okay, so uh, in here, I'll you have to type enter your age. Name. Yeah, you have to delete age. Your age. Or you can write enter your name only. Okay. Like you have to remove it all and type enter your name. Same with enter, the enter your first name or anything, anything. I just want to take a name and age. Now here you can put enter your age. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Hello. So in here, it? I don't need the comma, isn't it? So you can remove it? Yeah. Yep, I removed it. Save your file first. Okay. No. Save your file. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then run it again. You can press Control C. Control C to turn it. Yeah. Then you can run it again. Enter it. Okay, 
So, is there any doubt regarding these commands? Is code? No, no. Okay. So, I think this much uh, enough for today. Now, okay. for the practice, I am I am showing you the document and the video, so you can revise all the concept. Okay. Okay. So, how do you share that? You share on share the mail ID. Uh, okay, Google Drive. Yeah, Google Drive. And I uh, got a question. Next next Saturday, um, I'm a little bit busy. Is it possible to, uh, you have a like one o'clock free, in your time? Um, means uh, you are busy in, uh, in the upcoming weekend, so you want to reschedule. Uh, only your... only Saturday. Saturday I'm busy, so I'm free only uh, one to one to two o'clock, okay, one yeah. to like uh, three. Okay, yeah, we can. Uh, one to no. There's a, another batch, one to three, the cyber security batch. So uh, we can okay, which, What time are you free in the um... like uh, yeah, yeah, three to five and uh, three, twelve two, to one? You can twelve to one. Yeah, twelve twelve should be okay. Okay. Twelve should be okay. Twelve to one. Okay. okay. Uh twelve to one should be okay. Yeah. Okay. On Saturday. Yeah. Only Saturday, yeah, because okay. uh, I got uh, some uh, invitation, friend's house, that's why. Okay, okay, no sure. So 12 to 1 would be okay. 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 And I will show right, you the video you. in course content, right. okay? So you can revise it. Okay, okay. okay. all right. Thank you. See you, see you next week. Bye. Yeah.